And welcome back. Well, between gifts, decorations, and parties, our holiday budget can get spread thin. So here now to add a little zest to your gatherings without peeling away the cash is Chef Cece Carmichael. She's hosted several <laughs> cooking shows across the dial. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Let's talk about holiday bashes. How, um, what kind of tips do you have, your go-to tips for throwing a holiday bash for us? My my go-to tips are, are to get as much done ahead of time and to have your, your arsenal of, of go-to products that sort of streamline. You, you think I'm a chef and I would want to spend all the time in the kitchen, but I don't. And, and I don't think many people do. So I have all these great products that sort of get you in and out and make you look like a superstar and let you spend time with your friends and family. Well, that's true. I think a lot of chefs have these sort of shortcuts that help them get in, make the best food and get out. So starting with appetizers, what do you prefer? Appetizers could not be simpler. It sets the, I think appetizers set the tone for the entire meal. And it's as simple as, you know, I, I love Sabra hummus as it comes, they come in 12, over a dozen flavors. It's something for everybody. A simple crudite with chips and your beautiful, you can have a variety of, of hummuses in, in the middle. And I sometimes put it in my deviled eggs instead of mayonnaise. I put uh, the spicy chipotle uh, hummus in my guacamole. So there's a lot of ways to sort of customize it, make it your own. But if, even if that that's all you put out. It's beautiful, and it'll it'll take everybody keep everybody from getting peckish. That's <laughs> true, and that roasted red pepper one is one of my favorites. How else do you simplify? Roasted red pepper is good. Well, I think I mean if you want to talk about the about the main meal, um, you know I personally don't have time. I'm traveling this year, and of course, as a chef, everybody expects me to come, you know, toting all the, all the, all the fix-ins, and I'm actually going to do it this year, but I'm going to let Boston Market do it. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fessing up, so, but it's fine. You don't have to cook everything. I'm going to cook the bird, and I'm going to go pick up all, you know, the mashed potatoes, the stuffing, the gravy, and then put it in beautiful bowls, and maybe zhuzh up the potatoes with my own little spin, maybe roasted garlic or some chives, and, and I'm done. And the great thing about B Boston Market is you you can get, if you're feeling, get a complete flop sweat about the idea of cooking an entire meal, you can pick up everything from the, the roasted turkey and all the sides for 12 people for under $100. I mean, Boston Market, they do holiday every day, so it's kind of a logical choice. Uh, you know, they're going to do it better. I'm going to be in a rush, so I'd rather have them do it, and they take the time and put all the beautiful ingredients in, and then I end up looking like a superstar. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little <laughs> That's obsessed my confession. with their mac and cheese. It's pretty good. Mac and cheese is amazing. I know. So good. How about desserts, though? We got you you to got, get to the sweets. Oh, no, the sweets are so good. This is a talk about obsessed with a product, Talenti Gelato. I discovered about a year ago. They keep coming up with these flavors that blow your mind. They, uh, they came up with three holiday flavors, pumpkin pie with a real pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, and then these little chunks of pie crust. In it. They always have like a little surprise in them, uh, eggnog, peppermint bark. The great thing about Talenti Gelato is you could, they're a standalone dessert. They're so beautiful and elegant. You can just put them in a bowl with some cookies, done, feeling more ambitious. You want to bake a pie, they have a, a, a Venetian vanilla that's amazing. Just plop that on top or um, buy a pie and do the same thing. 30% less fat than regular ice cream, so you can go back for seconds and not feel guilty about it. Um, and I love that, that you talk about taking, taking the pressure off you. There it is right there. I just recently seen those in the freezer section, and um, I like the ingredient list. Very clean you know, good ingredients. Go try. It's very clean, and gelato is made with more milk than cream. So, but but it's still very rich, um, and the flavors. I think I've tried every single one. All right. So you did say you're cooking your own <laughs> bird. Uh, do you have any final tips for I us? I'm cooking on that? my own bird. Well, you know, I, I'm I'm a big. Uh, uh, I like to stuff the bird. I think people, for some reason, have gotten away from put, cooking the stuffing in the bird. But I like to stuff. I like it to cook the stuffing in the bird with apples and sausage and. Getting all the, mm, I just love it. Yeah, and that's what my mom does too. Where can we go for more information, Cece? Go to videopump.tv and you can get um, names and, and places to get all these great, great uh, products. All right, happy Thanksgiving to you. You as well.